Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. In this video, we'll show you how to enable Shopify data layer using customer events. So for example, you have an e-commerce store on Shopify and you want to track e-commerce events, events like view item, add to cart, view cart, checkout, purchase, and so on. Then you can use this method for enabling data layer for your Shopify store, okay? So this would be a complete guideline and I would show you how you can easily do it. Okay. So without any further delay, let's get it started. So we'll be using this uh, data layer for our Shopify store. So the advantage of using this data layer uh, that it is theme independent. That means if you change uh, your Shopify theme, then it will still be working, you know. So uh, previously we are using uh, this data layer actually uh, so we go to the uh, theme.liquid file uh, then uh, uh, insert some gtm code on the header dot the uh, on the head element actually then we have we created uh, some uh, snippet with the name then we put some uh, codes over there then uh, we declared this in our header uh, uh, header dot uh, header uh, header element file you know then we went to the checkout section and put google tag manager code and some additional codes but uh, due to uh, due to some updates of the order status space like you can see over here order status space additional script has been deprecated so we can uh, we can still uh, use this like if you want we can revert the additional script page but you can see it will be deprecated uh, forever uh, from december 31 2024 so it is high time to work on the updates you know so you can see over here order status page is now customized using customer events so uh, we'll be using customer events for enabling data layer okay perfect and you might ask me why should i use this data layer we could have used some apps so we have different types of apps so if i try to show you an app called eliver then you can see their pricing so their essentials uh, pricing is 150 dollar per month growth pricing is 350 dollar per month and business pricing is 750 dollar so it would be a costly process if you use this sort of apps if you have the budget then you can go for it but if you use this detailer this uh, this is free of cost that means you don't need to uh, provide money on a monthly basis you know so this is one time setup uh, what you need to do you need to give some uh, money to the uh, web analyst uh, for enabling this data layer or if you can you can do it by yourself you know so let's see how we can enable data layer for our demo shopify store so i have created a demo shopify store and we have one product over here okay so i have created now uh, a tag manager account with this uh, store name you can see over here analytical growth e-commerce shopify analytical growth e-commerce okay so first of all uh, for enabling data layer we need to go to the admin panels as you know this is a shopify cms so for going to the admin panel i just need to enter my website url then i'm going to write slash admin then you can see over here we have an option called settings so i'm going to click on it then if i scroll down we have an option called customer events okay then you can see uh we need to add custom pixel so i'm going to click on add custom pixel and i have to name a pixel so you can name it as per your requirements i'll click on add pixel then you can see over here pixel access is sandboxed okay for enhanced security and stability this pixel runs in a sandbox uh, please consult with the third party service provider about implementation uh, best practices so if you want to learn more about 
the pixel sandbox then you can click on the learn more button okay you can see over here pixel overview you can use the shopify pixel manager to manage your pixel uh that tracks customer events the shopify pixel manager allows you to manage an ad pixel that track customer events customer events are action that take place uh in the customer's uh, browser for example clicking a link or adding a product to the cart you can add and manage pixel in the customer events okay previously merchant could manually add javascript snippets in several places in their online store in online preferences in checkout scripts and in apps this is tips weren't usually uh, quality control and were time consuming to manage with the pixel manager your scripts are sorted in a single management tool and run in a sandbox environment so that's what was uh, that what i was talking about you know so you can see over here uh, sandbox environment for pixel pixel sandbox limitations so we have some limitations for using this sandbox pixel as well uh, so these are the limitations that uh, cannot render user interface elements such as buttons forms banners or models automatic detection of events from drum scrapping automatic detection of metadata from drum scrapping automatic detection of user information such as email and phone from drum scrapping automatic detection of outbound link clicks from drum scrapping automatic detection of page scrolling automatic detection of clicks and mouse movement to create heat maps from drum scrapping so these are uh, some of the limitations of using pixel sandbox and one of the main issues sir you cannot uh, preview uh, this uh, uh, this uh, sandbox pixel actually you cannot see it uh, in the tag manager preview mode but i will show you how you can check and verify it okay we need to create uh, the pixel okay insert some code so in the customer privacy section okay if you want you can learn it by clicking on this button so in the permission section i'll check not required and in the data cell section i'll select this option and we need to put some code over here so what i'll do i'll go to there and i'm gonna copy this code Just wait a little bit. So the code has been copied and I'm going to paste the code over here. Okay. Perfect. So what you need to do, you need to uh, change the tag manager ID from here. So I'm using my tag manager ID, GTM TM CQ 2926. So if I go to here, uh, gtm uh, tm cq 2926 so you need to change the tag manager uh, id from here so i'll click on save then if i scroll down then i need to connect this pixel so i'm going to click on this connect button so we have successfully uh, added a uh, shopify data layer on our store so for checking whether uh data layer has been installed properly on our site or not uh, i'll go to our site and i'll go to one of the products just refresh the page i'll select the product so we can check it uh, in a multiple way like i'll show you two ways actually uh one is by inspecting and other one is using uh, the google tag manager option so i'm gonna uh, take the help of an extension called tag assistant legacy okay so you can see tag manager code has been found on this website so i'll click on it and i'll go to the data layer section then you can see over here so i have uh, viewed an item okay so let's see whether view item event fires or not so you can see over here event we call view item url this one and this is our data layer schema e-commerce currency value items and item id item name price quantity and there there should be another event called shopify page view 
So this is our page view event for Shopify. So you can use this uh, method for uh, checking whether data layer has been installed on your site or not. Then we have another way. This is by inspecting. So I'll click on inspect and I'll go to the console section. Okay. Then I'll delete everything and I'll go to this option with pixel sandbox. Okay. And I'll write data layer. Okay. This one. And I'll click on enter. And I'm going to click on this. Then you can see over here uh, event view item has fired and if i click on it then you can see e-commerce uh, and their parameters like currency value items and event name is view item so uh, in this way you can check whether data layer has been installed on our site or not so if i try to show you whether add to cart uh, event is firing or not so i'll go to the inspect section and I'll go to the console again and I'll delete everything and I'm going to be selecting sandbox website. Okay. So this is our sandbox website and I'll write data layer. Okay. I need to select it again. Maybe this one. Yeah. Data layer. Data layer. Just start a little bit, but it's not coming. Just select this one and write data layer. Somehow data layer is not coming, no worries. I'll take it again. Mm. Just to it a little bit. This one most probably. Yeah, data layer. Then I'll click on enter and I'm gonna select this one. So you can see over here add to cart event is firing. So if I click on it, uh event add to cart, then e-commerce currency, okay, currency, items, value, okay. So everything is working fine. Similarly, if you go to the checkout page, then we'll see it using our tag manager. Okay. I'm going to refresh the screen. Tag manager code has been found. And if I go to the data layer, then you can see event begin checkout, e-commerce value, uh, currency, items, everything is showing up over here. So this is how you can check whether uh, data layer has been installed on this site or not. Okay. So I would uh, provide this doc file in the video description so that you can enable data layer for your Shopify store. Okay. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you have uh, liked our video and you have a clear understanding uh, on this video. If you like our video, then you can subscribe our channel, follow our page. You have a good day. Bye-bye.